Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to another tech tip video. And today we are going to introduce or show you a very useful tool or feature we have in SolidWorks and that's called a sketch picture. So let's say for example you want to have a CAD file of the frame of this fidget spinner but for some reason you don't have the CAD file fortunately by doing reverse engineering or maybe by digging into some files you get a drawing file of this of this frame which we have here <clears throat> but now the question is how do we convert this into a CAD file because for you the CAD file is your main goal not this one well now we have a solution for that and that's very easy what you can do is you can use Windows snipping tool just take a picture of this save it and once it's saved you go to SolidWorks you start a sketch because you have to make that CAD file after making a sketch right so you uh, start uh, sketching something and once you're in the sketch mode you search for a sketch picture and once you go inside there it will ask you to select the picture you want to import right and for us over here we need this one now the reason we selected this one is because this one has a better top view and uh, we can easily sketch on this um, and that was the reason uh, why we did not select the other one because it's, sh it's just a side view and over here we can really just know the width of this entire model but this is our main thing well since our picture is imported we'll use this sketch tool uh, and we'll scale it as you can see this is the most feasible reference we can have to scale our picture right now it shows 254 millimeter for sure it's not that long it should be something like 40.69 so we'll go with that and in that way our picture will be resized but you can see that since it's resized it just kind of goes away from the coordinate right so in that case we'll just make sure that they all come back to the coordinate and that's done one other thing you can do is you can use this tool of transparent color and make sure that we are making this transparent and it will mix easily with the background right all right so right now we're going to start the sketch as you see here now uh, we are at first starting with these circles uh, there are four circles we have of the same dimension as you can see they're of like 15.24 so I'm just going to give dimension for one of them and make the rest three equal and then I'm gonna start uh, with this part uh, gonna make this bigger circle and give its dimension 23.50 and then I just make two other more circles give them uh, make them equal and then place them uh, on the other ends and then for this side of the outer shell I'm gonna make use this strategy of making another circle um, putting giving its dimension and um, just like I did, I did earlier um, I'm gonna make two more circles the same dimensions and I'm gonna put them on the either two ends after that we have to make sure that all the circles are uh, kind of connected with each other and for that we need to use the tangent function and uh, by using that uh, all things are connected and then we used trim to cut the circles and then we're going to offset that by 1.78 to make the inner part of the shell after that we're going to extrude that this sketch by 5.08 and uh, the final step would be using a fillet of uh, 1.78 millimeter radius and there you go we have our frame the main reason for showing all the detailed steps to you is to portray or is to convey this message that this thing is very transparent it's very easy to use and really if you just start from scratch if you just start from this drawing file you can easily end up here 
and uh, if you don't have the cat file there's nothing to worry about if you have the drawing files or if you have the dimensions you can start from there and make your own frame or your own model thank you so much for watching this video i hope you all stay safe we'll see you all in the next video very soon uh, till then take care this is me Aryan rashid from cat micro solutions